finding parts, subtracting, whole minus part equals part, comparing two amounts. We've already learned we can add parts together to get a whole, part plus part equals whole, 8 plus 4 equals 12, 4 plus 8 equals 12. We subtract if we take away a part, 12 minus 4 equals 8, 12 minus 8 equals 4. We subtract to find out how much more. 20 minus 12 equals 8. 20 minus 8 equals 12. Whole minus part equals part. Is that all there is? Wait, wait, there's more! We also use subtraction if we're comparing two amounts, otherwise known as what's the difference between two amounts. Carla is 60 inches tall. Gravity is 20 inches tall. How much taller is Carla than her adorable dog? Even though we're talking about Carla and the dog, we're comparing inches to inches. Carla's also five feet tall. We need to compare the same to same. Five minus 20 would make no sense. Let's talk about driving. Let's compare the miles driven each day on Murphy's driving log. Monday, 195 miles, Tuesday, 205 miles, Wednesday, 235, Thursday, 250, Friday, 230 miles. All of them are miles. What's the difference between the longest and the shortest day? The whole is Thursday's 250 miles. The part is Monday's 195 miles. We're going to subtract to find the missing part. 250 minus 195 is 55. 250 minus 55 is 195. Part plus part equals whole. 195 plus 55 equals 250. So one more time, whether you're taking away, figuring out how much to add, or comparing two amounts, you're subtracting the same thing from the same kind of thing, eggs from eggs, miles from miles. If you know the whole and a part, you can subtract to find a missing part. That's it.